I was assigned to Shape Headquarters in 1963. My first assignment there was with the Operations Division, and I learned of a study in progress, a high classification cosmic top secret study that had been initiated in 1961 to determine whether there was a threat to Allied military forces in Europe. The study was called for because during the early 1960s, even in the late 1950s, there were incidents involving high altitude flyovers of large circular metallic machines flying in formation at a very high altitude at a very high rate of speed over Central Europe. Soviets thought they belonged to us, and we thought they belonged to the Soviets. And we and the Soviets had almost gone to war several times over these objects. Cosmic Top Secret is the highest security classification that the NATO-shaped headquarters has. I believe they still have that classification level. It's the very highest level. It's above Top Secret. Well, Air Marshal Sir Thomas Pike initiated the study. It took three years. The conclusions were rather mind-boggling. The senior military officers in shape headquarters were stunned by the conclusions of the study, which was called the assessment. The conclusions were that the planet Earth has been under a detailed, extensive survey by several extraterrestrial civilizations for many, many years. The study concluded that this survey has been going on for centuries, maybe even longer. They indicated that there was a high intelligence involved, extremely high technology involved. The technology that had been demonstrated was at least a thousand years beyond anything we could imagine. The technology was so intricate and so advanced that it was almost, it appeared to be magic. There did not appear to be any kind of a malevolent or hostile threat involved, because if there had been, there was absolutely nothing we could do. There seemed to be some sort of a planned and organized procedure unfolding. They had evidence from the study that this phenomenon had been going on for a very, very long time. And there seemed to be some kind of an intelligent plan involved. They never were able to conclude what that would be. But uh, that was quite, uh, quite a concern to the senior generals because they didn't, even at that time, know what the motives were for these extraterrestrial intelligence. I've been studying this phenomenon for over 30 years and I'm convinced that uh, we're reaching a point where not only do we have to educate the people of the planet, but I think the aliens themselves are going to make themselves known before too long.